God. Come on! Why don't you give it a rest, you dirty knobhead? You've been right picking at me head all the live long fucking day. Cool baked beans taste like arse anyways. See for yourself, Bulldog. Arse is all we've got left. Tins, tins and more fucking tins. Well, maybe if you hadn't gorged yourself and all the other rations, you fat snide cunt. I told you already. The world may have gone to pot. We survived this far. And I'll be damned if I meet my maker through fucking food poisoning. Expiry dates, man. Huh. All right. I didn't realise that chocolate bourbons were so highly fucking perishable. You know what? You fancy yourself the big fucking iron. No fancying about it, mate. Pure truth. Pure British warrior. I've been in the big league since year eight. So you always say. Helped some ugly mug burn down a corner shop in year eight. So what? You're still too fucking daft to nick a little can opener when we're swiping a shite load of cans. Not to mention. <laughs> Firstly, chop. It was no shop. What it was right, were a fucking pucky restaurant. Used to be my local pub till them curry assed stowaway truck wangers piled in. I fucked the lot of them, I say. <laughs> Secondly, it's dead fucking hard thinking of a tin opener at heat of the moment, especially when it looked like a fucking top telly or reet. Mr. Hardcase over here. In year eight and feeling proud of his local. It's pure patriotism, mate. It's pure bollocks, mate. Kia, try not to cut yourself. They're boring out here, Chopper tells ya. No women. Ming and Voddy. No specky tosses to beat into the soil. Uh, I mean, what the fuck is the point in all this shite anyways? Fuck what the bastard's saying, let's just go back into town. Shh, keep it down. Can you hear that? Hello? What you doing? Why, eh? It's a nice young lass. Whoever said be careful what you wish for anyways, huh? Buzzing. Hello. <sighs> I couldn't believe it when I heard voices. You two are the first people I've come across in days. You're a sight for sore eyes yourself, Pat. When I used up the last of my food supplies yesterday morning, I thought I was a goner. You're a camp bulldog now, no need to worry. <sighs> Bulldog. Aye. Named after yours truly. That there's my boy, Chop. Interesting names. I'm Claire. Interesting. <laughs> too right, sweetheart, too right. Strong British male, the Bulldog is. Proud protector. Symbol of survival. Right. I don't mean to be rude, but I've not eaten in over 24 hours and I'd be really grateful if you could share some of that food. I'd do anything for something to eat. Well, you guys are struggling with those tins, right? I've got just the thing. Trade this for some beans? I've got a better idea. Let's negotiate. Why don't you give us that can opener and everything else you've got and we won't bottle yours? Actually, you know what? Change of plan. You've got shite all in here anyways. 
That coat looks nice, though. I bet you'd look even better underneath it as well. She gets wet. What? The classic rationale of a psycho twat. Why well, won't let you fuck me so somehow I'm a slut? Well done. I'm utterly convinced you're a reasonable person. Actually, you know what? Referring to you as a person is an insult to the entire human race. You're the worst. I know you. I was in the heart of the city when the panic broke out. At the first hint of trouble, the very first hint, your kind revealed your true nature. Oh, fuck you! No, fuck you! Pushing, shoving, beating, mugging. Rioting solely for the sake of rioting and causing violence. The authorities are distracted for, what, two seconds? People are dying, and your first instinct is to smash open a shop window and take off with the flat screen telly. Well, that's really working out for you now, isn't it? Whatever, you little cunt. Oh my god, vulgar words really are your only weapon. You're so defined by your hatred. It's going to consume your entire selfish, hypocritical. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> 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 Fucking bitch! Fucking bitch! How's it feel, motherfucker? Ah! Oh, fuck! By ending your gutless life, I'd be doing what's left of the world a favor. But then I wouldn't be much better than you, would I? <clears throat> and even being one sixteenth of what you are would be shameful. Would you believe it? The great Year 8 warrior, beaten by a woman. A hungry, weak woman at that. That's no thanks to you, you prick. Mr. Bitch is in the kitchen, admitting he can't take down a woman. What a transformation. Oh, fuck you, you prick. She was no fighting fair. She's a sneaky little bitch. You sneaky little bitch. Whatever you say, mate. <laughs> Beware the dog. Uh, fuck you! Uh, 
Oh! <gasps> 